Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Okay, so today's video is about two perfumes that I recently bought. You'll know that I have been a no-buy, but it kind of failed horribly. So these are the two perfumes that I bought recently and I thought I wanted to share with you. The first one is Anima Sante from Maria Candida Gentile. I hope I say it right. This one smells very gourmand. It actually smells like Swedish fish. A friend of mine from here, Mara, she mentioned that this one smells like Swedish fish and it is true. Like, you know, the candy Swedish fish. That doesn't smell like fish, but it smells like this gourmand candy, like kid snacks that's called Swedish fish. It's sweet, it's fruity, it's sugary. It has caramel base, so it's a floral, fruity perfume. Top notes is frangipani, middle notes are almond milk, melon, base note is benzoin and sequoia, sequoia wood. I could smell almond milk, I could smell melon, I could smell benzoin and the wood. And I could also smell the frangipani. But the whole thing combined, it smells like Swedish fish candy, which is a gourmand. I wear this to work and it does get feedback from men. Some of them liked it. Some of them say that, wow, it smells like true gourmand. When you say it smells like Swedish fish, it wasn't a joke. So that's the feedback that I got. One of them said, why would you want to smell like that? But nonetheless, I think this is a fun one. If you like a true gourmand scent, like scent that smells like candy that makes you happy and uh, cheer you up this is one of them yeah it literally smells like Swedish fish I can't speak any more about that it's pretty plain and simple it smells like how the Swedish fish taste not smell well I mean they're, they're similar it's there they both are there it smells like how a Swedish fish would smell and would taste yeah, it's really good. Performance is amazing. It lasts uh, six plus hours. I really, really like it. This is very happy and fun, cheerful scent. So the next one is Fredrik Mal and Passan. So when I bought Iris Poudre and Lipstick Rose, this is another one that I was wanting to get, but I wasn't sure how I felt when I went to the store. So at the time, it feels like this would be a good summer scent because it has like lilac, it smells like a realistic lilac bush with aquatic cucumber in the backbone. The notes based on Fragrantica for en passant are lilac, watery notes, cucumber, wheat, patty grain. Now that I bought it and I've worn it for a while, I could tell you that this is a very soapy lilac with aquatic cucumber undertone so it smells exactly that as much as i like it this one smells better as a um, linen perfume to be honest i like it but i don't know if i want to wear this i do reach for this a lot just because maybe because it's new and i want to you know test the perfume that i just bought but the feedback that I got from my coworker when I wore this is like, okay, it smells like my grandma soap. That's one feedback, which I think it's um, not accurate. But one of the guys said that um, this one smells like Asian optometrist office. And yeah, so I kind of see it, even though I don't want to admit it because I spent a lot of money on Asian optometrist office. But I could see this being a, like a room perfume, you know? A little bit synthetic, so yeah, it's like a lilac, soapy lilac with cucumber undertone. I do enjoy it, I think it's a, it's a good one, but um, I don't know if this one fits my personality. So I still like it and I want to keep it, but yeah, just to be honest with you these are the two perfume that I bought recently and I also um, got this from Fredrik Mal, Lo the Hyper, the perfumer for this is John claude Elena I tried this once and I actually really 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 like it Lo the Hyper is a floral woody musk 
It smells wonderful. Actually, I love how it smells so much. The notes are heliotrope, iris, white musk, angelica, honey, bergamot, jasmine, and hawthorn. It smells like a um, um, floral woody musk. That's what it is. Now the angelica here is a little bit spicy. I think it's angelica and hawthorn, maybe with a little bit of bergamot. It's a little bit, and maybe jasmine. These are spicy. So it's like having a, um, the spiciness reminds me a little bit of a, like pink pepper. So yeah, it has a spiciness that bites. The way uh, it came across to me, it smells like a soap. But this is a uh, different kind of soap than um, and Passan. And Passan smells like a lilac soap with a cucumber undertone. This one smells more like an iris heliotrope. It's more like powdery and musky. It smells clean. It smells subtle. It smells more wealthy. It smells more for, um, I don't know if mature women is the right word. It smells more for like a classy type of women. Yeah, this is the scent that I would wear. I think this this scent fits me more than um, En Passant. Yeah, it's a floral woody musk. Now the Angelica and Hawthorne bites a little bit, like pink pepper, but if you remove that, what you get is like a subtle, soapy powdery scent yeah it's really really nice now the reason why i didn't buy this because i was told by a lot of friends of mine that this one is pretty much a skin scent and performance is not great now on me it's pretty long lasting but it's uh it's very subtle it sits closer to the skin so this is a very intimate scent. It's not a, per a scent that you would wear to project. This one smells like your skin, but better with a little bit of a soapy base, soapy, musky and soapy base. It's cold leaning, so it will not make you nauseated. Like I noticed that a musky scent, I'm pretty sensitive to musky scent. So if it's too warm of a musk, it makes me feel sick. Um, but this is leaning cold. So those of you that likes a um, musky powdery scent, and if you don't mind a um, Angelica Hawthorne combination that come across a little bit similar to pink pepper Then you're gonna like this one. The whole vibe is very I guess John Claude Elena It has a little bit of a, a classy lady like a classy wealthy lady vibe It smells like a second skin, but with a little bit of bite All right, so these are the three these are the two that I bought recently. Do I love them? Um, I don't love this two. I like them enough to keep it. So I think Anima Sante is a very novelty type of scent. It makes me happy. It makes me want to own it. If I were to sample this, I probably would buy it. It's not a versatile scent that I would pick a lot because you know I don't really want to smell like Swedish fist a lot I, I would prefer a more subtle basic vanilla um, and this one and Passant I really really like it it was in my wish list and this is a beautiful scent that I could wear when it's summer when it's hot because this is a um, like a soapy clean lilac -y with aquatic undertone so this is perfect for summer but I don't know if this one fits my um, personal taste of perfume. It doesn't fit my style, but this is a beautiful scent nonetheless, and I really, really appreciate it, and I do recommend this, but you have to like aquatic cucumber undertone, and you have to like lilac soapy scent. As much as I'm upset with the feedback that I get from this one, it does smell like optometrist office, if you can imagine that, so you 
pretty much imagine what this smells like. I'm not intending to be rude, I'm just being honest with the feedback that I get. I still do recommend Anpasan and I do recommend Anime Sante, but I don't think this is as versatile. Performance is amazing, longevity is amazing, performance is amazing, smells fun. Highly recommend, but versatility is probably low because it smells like Swedish fish. And this one is a great performance, great projection, great longevity, smells amazing, smells clean, soapy, lilac with cucumber undertone. But this one, you need to have a certain vibe to pull it off. I think this one would be a better room scent than than a perfume, if you know what I mean. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.